Awesome. Well, hello. Um, we can start off by you introducing yourself. I am Deja Wallace. I am a sophomore. What school are you attending? Lamar High School. Awesome. You were recently a district champion. You placed third um, at regionals and fifth in the state tournament. So congratulations. That's amazing. How long have you been wrestling for? I've been wrestling for uh, three years because I started during eighth grade. Uh, what got you into wrestling? Probably my brother because he used to wrestle. He inspires me to wrestle. Um, so aside from wrestling, you also participate in, in choir. Is that correct? I do. I'm also... I'm going to try out for a show choir. Ooh, that's amazing. You got some pipes on you then. Yeah. <laughs> that's cool. That's cool. Is uh, singing something that you recently got into or is it something that you've always been involved in? Always been in, like, always been involved ever since church. And not only in church, but, like, when I was younger as well, I always used to sing. Um, any other hobbies or anything uh, special that you like to do whenever uh, you have downtime? I like to read. Like, I love reading. That's amazing. Uh, do you see yourself wrestling after high school? I do, during college, probably my first two years. And then I want to get more serious into in, interior design. What would you say your dream achievement would be? Like, work-wise? Yeah, work-wise. I mean, it could be anything. Like, uh, would you say that you, your ultimate goal, your dream is to be, like, a really well-established wrestler or, like, a really well-established interior designer? Or uh, you would be living in the best of both worlds and having both? Because, you know, we can do that. It's possible. Yeah. And um, wrestling for a long term. Might want to become a coach and, like, teach other kids about wrestling. That, that would be really cool. We definitely need more women coaches. Absolutely. <laughs> How do your parents feel about you wrestling? In the beginning, they were, they were scared. Not that they didn't think it was a girl's sport, but they just didn't want to see me get hurt. But then, like, later on to the season, they fell in love with the wrestling. They fell in love with me wrestling, and they fell in love with the people who helped me, like my coach, my teammates, they're like family. Mm -hmm. So, like, they fell in love with them, too. Mm -hmm. And... They're just really, they're really supportive, like really supportive. Even I had doubts. I'm sorry, I'm going to tell a story. If that's yeah, go ahead. Mm -hmm. um, so when I went to state last year, I placed 15, which was really, like, really devastating. Like, I thought I was going to make it big, but hey, I was still learning. I was a freshman. Mm -hmm. This year, I didn't, I didn't want to, I thought I was going to play slow again. And I didn't want my mom to come, but she was like, girl, I don't care if you place 15, if you place eighth, you place first, I'm gonna always come no matter what. Cause you know, Houston, a very long drive. You have to um, go to a hotel and pay for that. And that's only for what, a couple of days. And I didn't, yeah. want, to, I didn't want to waste her time, but my mom do not care. She's like, I'm gonna come anyway. I'm gonna go and support. And I love my mom. So much. It's and amazing. Yeah, mom, wrestling moms are the best. They're very supportive. <laughs> Can you see doing any other sports outside of wrestling? Um, yes, probably rugby. Rugby is cool. It's intense. You want to <laughs> do all the intense sports. <laughs> yeah, that's the only thing. I'm, I think I'm really into intense sports. Like, I love sports like that. I would definitely be open to do roller derby or hockey. They look, they're maybe not as intense as wrestling, but, you know, still have that little edge to them. Yeah. <laughs> Any artists that you have to listen to before uh, a match or a tournament? Like Billy Irish, um, Meg the Stallion. Yes. Hot like, Girl Summer. <laughs> there you go. And who else? Honestly, that's about it. Like, I just like the vibe. Yeah, no, those are really great artists to vibe to. And I think uh, Megan, especially, is really good to get pumped to. So <laughs> I know you, you're feeling confident whenever you listen to her before a match. So your coach is Gordon Stephens, right? Coach Stephens. So you teach calculus? Really a calculus one and calculus two at the college level. How exactly. is that? Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a fantastic... Uh, Mix with the uh, with the wrestling and with the the calculus. I really enjoy my job. I get up every day and I just uh, I can't believe they pay me to do all this. So it's great. 
I love the attitude. I love the energy that you that you bring. So you also wrestled and played football in college while also attending school in Montana. Do you feel like wrestling made, made you a better football player? Oh, absolutely. When I was in high school, my uh, high school football coach told me that we would wrestle or we would we'd sit on the bench as freshmen. So I, I joined wrestling and I just uh, fell in love with it. Had a great coach, Ruben Martinez. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I did all four years and then I uh, actually got to do it a little bit in college a little bit. So that's it, awesome. It actually, uh, I think it actually helped me develop as an athlete. I think I wasn't as uh, I didn't have the tools probably to play college football, but because I did high school wrestling, I think it um, developed me into being a better football player and then also a wrestler, of course. But and I was able to play um, college football. So it was good. It was a really good uh, sport for me to be involved in. That's amazing. So I did hear from uh, Deja um, in regards to how she felt about placing. How did you feel whenever uh, she plays? Oh, I'm I'm always ecstatic. I mean, every every match that they win is is fantastic. But any time that you can place at the state tournament, that's just um, that's just amazing. Because you look at you look at all the sports at your school, and you look at all the programs that actually go to the state tournament. There's very few programs that have people continually going to the state tournament and, and competing at the state tournament. So mm -hmm. uh, anytime, you know, you can come back with a medal, you know, that's just a, just an amazing opportunity for us to ha be able to do every year and to come back and, and be successful and, and get the notoriety. And the, the fact that, that Deja was, you know, the person that accomplished that, you know, that says a lot about her and, mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, She's uh, it, it's it's kind of fun to walk down the hallway because not only is she a good athlete, is she's also a, a great student and she's very kind to people. So, you know, the teachers will, you know, they'll start talking about it to say, well, we're so proud of Deja and we just love having her in class and she's such a great student. And so just to be a coach, to have such a great athlete and then just the fact that she's also such a great person that just uh it means the world to me. So, yeah. And, and the great thing is we have, we have a whole team full of girls like that too. And Deja's one of our leaders. And so she models that for the other kids as well. Can, can my other girls get in here? Yeah, and say, they can, they, they're welcome to get in. This is, this is Kaylin and Aurora. Mm -hmm. Hi, Kaylin, nice to meet is, you. Kaylin's a ninth grader. Mm -hmm. And she's, she was a district champ for us this year. So oh, congratulations. And this is Aurora. Aurora wrestled junior high. Wrestled Hi, Aurora. For a while. And uh, she's a sweetheart. So to give a shout out to um, uh, Coach Roberts, she's my assistant uh, ladies coach. She does a fantastic job. And then um, our men's coach, uh, he's not afraid to work with the girls. And I really appreciate the fact that, you know, he's, you know, if the girls need help, he's willing to help them out. So I, it, I, it's not just – it's just not, not just me, you know, it's, it's, we've got a good support group and we all work really well together. Yeah, it's definitely a, a, a circuit. <laughs> yeah, it's a unit of support. Um, well, thank you guys so much for doing this interview and taking the time out of your day. Uh, once again, congratulations, Deja, you're amazing. And uh, we wish you nothing but the best. Uh, same to you, coach. All right, guys, thank you so much. Thank all right. You. Thank you. Bye, have a good one.